was at uh, the grocery store today, and of course I was wearing a mask and gloves. Because why not be a psycho too? Like a real fucking person in a pandemic. But I walked, but yes, and I walked by this guy who's wearing the same thing. He's the delivery driver. He's putting up, you know, sodas. And I, he's on the phone with his girlfriend. He's just going like, I keep watching the news and I'm so scared. I'm just so scared I'm going to get sick. And I can hear him, his whole conversation. Oh, shit. And I'm just making out like, this is what a lot of people in the country do. Like, right. they're fucking terrified because they're being told. To, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be cautious. Right, caution. But this complete panic seems to be really uh, hurting people. And my friend George was at the store the other day with his wife. I told you about this, and this woman walks up. Sorry, and goes, I couldn't shop for you, Georgie. <laughs> I, I tried to go in, but I didn't have no mask. I bought some steak, so when you punch me, I could put it on my eye. <laughs> I also got some frozen peas, because I know you like vegetables after you hits me. I use them for your rib shots you give me. <laughs> They contour to the ribs. I learned a word, contour. Don't hit me, George, for learning. <laughs> the doctor said after all the staircase vacations, my uterus is officially broken. It's close for business, George. Now you can come at me all the time without having to punish me. You don't have to kick me in the guts after. <laughs> you don't want a Georgie Jr. I don't want a Georgie Jr. No, I mean, I did the first couple times, <laughs> but it kept hoiting so bad. And you know how awful it would stain the carpet, Georgie. <laughs> I'd be on my hands and knees trying to scrub it up. <laughs> then once I was all done, you said it wasn't good enough, and next thing you know, I'm scrubbing up Moore's blood. <laughs> so, so you are shopping in George. Yeah, I was shopping. <laughs> And this woman comes up and she's like, what's going on? <laughs> she uh, she asked my friend, she, George, she's like, uh, what, what's going on? Like, is there, uh, I hear there's some kind of like flu going around. And he laughed it off. He's with his wife and they walked away. And his wife's like, you just completely laughed at that woman and walked away. He goes, yeah, she was making a joke. He's like, no, she was dead fucking serious. Like this really? woman had no idea. Couldn't figure out why people were in masks. Isn't it hard to believe? But it, it's it's not really anymore in America. She must just be, I guess, a shut-in who's a reader. I don't know. A goddamn reader. I don't. Know. I guess if you don't watch the news and you don't hang around with a group of people that watch the news, uh, yeah, you, you probably know something was going on, but maybe not be amped up to the extent of people that just fixate on the news all day. Yeah, she might just watch, you know, like, whatever that old you know like tv land all day and yeah you, you know maybe she's a widow doesn't have anybody to talk to yeah it, i'm sure there's people out there who are just stunned because they go out to get groceries and all of a sudden it, they're like this is yeah hey why is everyone wearing a mask yeah did something happen i watched manix on me tv last <laughs> night he got hit over the head like you hit me george <laughs> There was a moiter, and I thought, oh, boy, at least when he hits me, I don't die. Uh, yeah, not he, yet, anyway. Yeah, he certainly tries. <laughs> I try shooting Anison at him with a, <laughs> with a slingshot. <laughs> try to hit his mouth. Because he comes home very angry. He told me to drink a tab <laughs> to keep my figure, but it just made me more overweight. So he gave me a beating until I could only taste copper in my mouth. <laughs> he said, if I don't lose weight, he'll beat the pounds off of me. <laughs> I told him my doctor found a lump in my, and he said, if the titties are gone, so am I. <laughs> he gave me lumps on my head. <laughs> my friend asked me why I'm always wearing big sunglasses to lunch. <laughs> I say it's because I like Hepburn, not because my eyes burn. <laughs> ah, domestic violence. It's so fun. It hurts so much when I blink, George. Uh, yeah. Blinking shouldn't hurt, should it, Georgie? <laughs> Why does it hurt when my eyelids barely touch each other for a fraction of a moment? That shouldn't hurt, Georgie. <laughs> Ow. I'll tell you the good thing about being in this marriage, Georgie. I get a new nose every three weeks. <laughs> Whether I want it or not. 
all different styles. Last week you gave me the Artie Lang. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait for next week's Jimmy Durante. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, Jesus the doctor Christ. says I got more black spots in my brain than Crispin Wall. <laughs> my brain looks like Harlem. Oh <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, oh. people are losing 